All right, today I want to talk about the hit community, so-called, and Ken Hutchins. And what I feel there is right now a vacuum going on. Um, interestingly, as far as personal training goes, uh, there was, of course, Ellington Darden, Mike Menser, others in terms of uh, people advocating that type of training and people using it themselves. But when it came to the personal training community using these principles, really virtually all of it, I believe, comes from the Super Slow Exercise Guild, which first started out with Ken Hutchins and his Super Slow Exercise Manual. And today there is a community of personal trainers, exercise instructors, um, Ken would prefer to use, and I can see why, that are essentially using many of the principles. Hit Uni, my personal uh, certification program, uh, you know, borrows heavily and admittedly by Simon Shawcross from the Super Slow Exercise Guild. However, uh, the Super Slow Manual was written some time ago, and there are a number of people today who are whose introduction, who are part of this community, but who have never even read the Super Slow Manual or uh, the Renaissance uh, that came later. And a lot of them, their uh, introduction to it is Doug McGuff's Body by Science. Now, Doug McGuff's Body by Science is a great book, one that I like and I recommend. And that, um, certainly is better than 95% of probably 99% of the exercise books that are out there. However, compared to the super slow exercise manual, I mean, it's, it's almost a pamphlet. It is written, uh, I'm sure Doug would say, for the layperson to not overwhelm them and give them the, the gist of what they need to do to start a good exercise program. And that's great. But if you're a if you are a uh, personal trainer, an exercise instructor, and that's what you're going on, um, then you're missing a, a, a ton of stuff. And also, the, the, of course, if you have taken your certification with HIT Uni, then you've got much of what Ken has done. And I know that Ken um, sort of upset people because of his writing style and how he can be somewhat um, abrasive and how he does things and, and how he puts it forth and some people consider him extreme and all these things but whatever your thoughts are these people all owe him a great debt and then most of the things that we're using most a lot of people don't even know where it comes from is coming from Kent and Ken's writings I mean I hear people this is part of where this comes from I wanted to do preface is, you know, I've heard quotes um, about cultish things. And, you know, the branch, I heard one quote, branch Davidians of exercise, meaning, you know, that people were being extreme, uh, really knocking aerobics or, or steady state activities. Uh, that people, uh, you know, seeing somebody and somebody saying that it's not a good thing to start with a new client talking about, quote, some old guy by the name of Ken Hutchins, or also somebody pointing out that how ridiculous it was that Ken had apparently made a client sign something saying he would not do steady state activities while he was being trained by Ken. And so what I'm seeing is I'm seeing ridicule of some of Ken's things which fair enough, people are entitled to their opinion, but what I'm not seeing is actual refutations of specific things that Ken does. The other one is treating people like they're made out of China. Um, to me, it, it, and of course, there isn't a new manual. There isn't somebody who's written, you know, the revised new one that is less extreme, better written, whatever it is, you know, with the possible exception of Body by Science. But again, Body by Science, is is really written for the layperson and is not you know something that you would use as a certification um 
or anything like that. So it, it seems to me that what's happening is that the exercise community is being watered down. And I'm seeing um, people who are involved in this community who are also running marathons and, and, and 10Ks and things like that while conceding that it's not necessary and you can get everything that you can from uh, strength training, but, but still engaging in these activities and even, uh, you know, courses and how to do it properly. And of course, the whole recreation versus exercise thing is very seldom quoted. The uh, definition of exercise and what it is, what it isn't all these things and, and what I see and what I fear is, you know, as this becomes more and more watered down, um, you know, then there, there'll be no definitions. If somebody di disagrees with the definitions, come up with some new ones. Don't just abandon definitions altogether is what I'm saying. If somebody believes that running or things like that uh, can form part of something, then to me, it behooves them to show what, how does it fit in and why? Is it recreation? Is it exercise? Is it enhance? Is there new evidence to promote it rather than and whatnot? I'm not seeing that. What I am seeing, of course, Arthur Jones, uh, many people have never even heard of now. And now, of course, there's a lot of people who've never heard of Ken Hutchins or they've heard of him, but often and sadly, they've heard of him disparagingly. And, and not really even read his material. So they're not making up their minds as to whether or not Ken is right or not by reading his material and making an assessment. They're making up their minds by hearing what other people are saying about him. And whether you agree with everything that Ken does or the style in which he says it or not, you know, to me, you are missing out on a huge resource. I have some people saying that super slow didn't work for them. But you know, typically my thing is that people think that they're, they're, it just means they moved slowly and it didn't work. There's much more to super slow than just moving slowly. Um, being able to actually get good at creating good inroad and things like that is something that needs to be understood properly. And other times I've seen people say they looked worse when they engaged in that type of program. But then also pointed out that, you know, they had let their diet let go during the same time. So I'm left thinking, well, was it the program or was it, um, was it uh, the, the diet? So, I mean, at the end of the day, there's room for um, disagreement and, and, and proper debate. But I don't think, you know, rid ridiculing somebody uh, and, and, and without refuting specific tenets. And as far as his writing style, I'll admit that I winced at some of the ways that Ken has written and wondered if it could have been said better. But at the same time, I've also felt, you know, this person has the courage of their convictions. They're not pulling any punches. And the fact is that there is, as Ken states, an incredible amount of of silliness, uh, outright foolishness that's going on in the exercise community that will hurt people, will not give them results. And there's just pure marketing and things like that. And, and Ken's calling it like he sees it and he doesn't pull any punches. Again, could he use an editor? Are there other uh, people that could use editors in terms of putting it in a better way. I think part of where Doug McGuff became very popular is because he was a better representative or an ambassador for this type of exercise in many ways by, by presenting it in a way that was less abrasive. And, and, and Doug's a very likable guy, but sometimes, you know, too much of a good thing. Is it when do you actually call things as they are and not worry? Of course, uh, Arthur Jones um, was very blunt. Ken was very blunt. And at the end of the day, there's something to be said for stating your convictions with courage and not, 
not uh, pulling any punches. I will agree that sometimes maybe more energy could be spent on what is correct and less energy spent on attacking what you feel is not correct. Fair enough. But again, delineation has to come by identifying both. So anyways, that's something that's been on my mind and I thought I would put it on. Everybody's going to like this and that's okay. So all the best to everybody. Bye for now.